And here's a replay of the start. It's the Ukrainian crew there have got the better of the others there in that really experienced lineup. Great start from them. And we're going to join them 800 metres gone. So here we're looking at the Ukrainian crew. Yeah, closest to us, Evgena Dovhodol, the 25-year-old. And then behind her, well, Anastasia Kosenkova, the 32-year-old Olympic champion in this event back in London in 2012, 32 years of age. Couldn't quite repeat that feat in Rio, where this quad finished fourth. But... Um, They've yet really to sparkle at the top of the field. They took a fourth place in the Lintz World Cup, which was contested really hotly. But uh, they do look smooth and fluid. We'll have a look at their time compared to the poles as they go through the 1,000 metre mark. Just through the 1,000 metres in 310. That's the same time as the poles, Cat. So the Ukrainians are really at a great pace. Yeah, they're steaming here. France and Italy struggling to stay with them. So France and Italy neck and neck in second place. But they're a good two lengths behind this Ukrainian crew looking so strong out in front. So shot there of the French crew. That's uh, Violaine Arnoux, the 18-year-old from uh, Chapelle, from the Chapelaz. And she's just come into this boat for this event. But you can see there is a big distance, roughly about 30 metres the distance between the bows of the French and the bows of this training quad. They really do take their stroke low down, don't they? The, the, blade, the hands aren't very high at the catch. It's a very flat drive that they've got. You can see the experience in the three-seat there. That's the key seat of the eight. Anastasia Kosinkova, just one behind the stroke woman, 32 years of age, Olympic champion from London, just one survivor from that quad, and she does her sculling at Dniprozhosk in the Ukraine. Here's the French, stroked closest to you by Marie Jacquet from chalon sur saône well, they have been overtaken by the Italians. As you can see, the Italians now matching the speed almost with the Ukrainians. The Italian quad had... Well, this is a new crew, in effect, the Italian quad. And so they had a really good lint. But it's the first time we've seen this particular quad. Number of rowers out of the under-23 fours. Turn from one blade to two blades, and they are the best of the rest. So we're into the last part of the race, about 400 metres to go. And there are the Italians closest to you, Ludovica Serafini from the Canatieri Agnelli Club, then the Caramella Paparado, 22 years of age from the Irno Canatagio. Stefina Gobi, the oldest of this crew, 23 years of age, from the Padova Club, and then at stroke, Chiara Ondoli. There she is, furthest away from you. can see Ondoli with that long plait out of that distinctive blue cap in the stroke seat, the 22 years old stroke woman. So the Italians have had a great record in junior sculling, and... Uh, Ondoli is one of those Italian juniors. Got a gold medal in the quads in this event back in 2013. So she's an experienced stroke woman in this type of boat class. But uh, she's not going to make much headway on these Ukrainians. Yeah, the Ukrainians had a great race here, leading from start to finish, looking really strong in these final stages. That tall figure of Elena Beriak in the two seat. 193 centimetres, six foot four. They're going to go through the line first. They've got clear water over the rest of the field. The Italians hanging on there for second place. Third's going to go to France, fourth Germany, and fifth Czech Republic. Not quite as quick as the poles, I don't think. They matched them through the 1,000 metres, 6.32. So the poles came down, they won the previous heat, 6.27. So five seconds slow on the poles, but to be fair, they weren't under so much pressure. There's the Italians with the young Dolly in the stroke seat. It's the French crew there. They look like they suffered in that race. Yeah, they certainly do. 
So with their feet in the water, 